This is part two. Make sure that you have already completed part one and have your artwork ready as we will be adding on to what we have already done in class. go back in and at the top of each part of our castle we're going to add a dome or a spire so this would be drawing something like a triangle at the top it's completely up to you how you want these to look We do want them to be fancy since this is a castle. I'm adding some flags on top of this one. We do want to go in and add different types of patterns and lines. Different types of shapes. flag again on the top. Each one's going to be different and you can use your imagination. I will put in some different ideas that you can use for variations. We're going to go in to the circle that we had drawn and make this into a clock um, with a silly face on it. So I'm going to be making eyes on this clock. You can do this in any style that you like. Doesn't need to be a match to what you see Mrs. Jarvis doing. We're going to give some options that you can use for the different parts of the clock.
Next, we're gonna jump to this circle up here that we created for a sun. And similar to the clock, we're gonna be making a Mary Blair inspired face on the sun. So you can do this in any way that you like. Using lots of shapes, lots of patterns so that you match the style in the rest of our castle. And we will put in some options so that you can make your own type of sun. Next, we're adding some type of fun design for the door. So you may want to split the door into two, add some doorknobs, and then think what decorations you might want to add. What shape patterns can you get into the door to make it more interesting? For the next step, we're gonna be putting designs in to each one of our squares. We want these to be large designs, knowing that we're gonna go back and be painting this in. You may want to use your ruler again, and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 boxes that you can add different designs on to. And again, you're not matching what you see me doing. You're just using some different design ideas of your own to fill in the different spaces. Lots of geometric shapes. And they should be big shapes, so they're easy to paint in later. I'm gonna try one that looks a bit like a rainbow pattern, so you can be inspired by some things from nature. I feel like the one above looks a bit like a lily pad. You can try different types of lines as ideas. And continue on filling up the squares in any way that you choose. Don't forget to photograph your work and upload it to Google Classroom.